Hello, everybody. I'll be back with some infos about the technical requirements of the Nama CT. Some of you asked me to get some more insights about these technical specifications of the system. So this is an image of the actual scanner of the ABCT advanced breast CT without breast compression. You see the table where the patient is lying and the bore where the breast is positioned. So what is the difference to a normal CT? If you look at the actual normal body CT scanner, we always are going to examinate the whole body in an actual direction. Therefore, the ring of detector and radiation source is quite wide at least 70 to 80 centimeters is the distance between radiation source and detector and for every examination the whole body is therefore irradiated at least even with the best systems you will come down with an astonishingly resolution of approximately 0 0.5 millimeter but due to the setup of this whole thing, you can't get much higher with the actual resolution. The Mama CT is following another way. It's an examination in a frontal plane along the longitudinal axis of the breast as it is shown on this image. You have at least no radiation of the rest of the body and at least a very small distance between the tube and the detector. And therefore you come out with an extremely high resolution with this system about 0 0.3 millimeters down to 0 0.1 millimeter in every direction. So it's an isovolumetric voxel you are going to produce with this technique. At least you have a very high patient comfort with no compression of the breast, no narrowing tube to lie in as a is used in an MRI. You had a short examination time, about five minutes for the whole procedure for both breast. And also on the other hand, you have a highest image quality with three dimensional without superimposition. And therefore you can use contrast media to lift it and to elevate, elevate this examination to an functional examination. At least you come out with an extremely low radiation exposure. And I want to show you why later. So if you compare the MAMA CT to any other modality on the market concerning 3D imaging, superimposing of tissue, contrast media usability, microcox and comfort for the patient, you will come at least with the best options in one machine for the MAMA CT because you are combining first time 3D imaging without superimposions, usability of contrast media, visibility of microcalcs and a high patient comfort in one exon. So let me go into the technical structure of the scanner. You have a dedicated spiral breast CT to the system and as I told you before, here's the opening for the breast. You have a patient table. Underneath it, there's an access door to the scanner. And if you open this, you have an insight into this view. So on the bottom, there's a chest positioning mirror. On the right side, you have the X-ray tube, the breast cover with some numbers for the length of the breast. And on the left side of this image, you have a detector. And now this is the whole system in action. As you see, the rotation of the scanning system and the breast in the cover, and now the scanning is in progress and it's done after 12 seconds. In 12 seconds, you are going to scan 16 centimeters of Roy, and now it's done. That's all, one examination with a very short examination time, no scattered radiation to the patient, reduced artifacts and extremely high comfort. So what are the 
technical specifications in itself. You have a high power X-ray tube, you have a spiral cone beam CT scan, but the main thing about this is the detector. It's the first clinical application of a photon counting detector in a CT scanner, and the detector is produced by direct conversion. And it is absolutely fascinating because it combines extremely high um, resolution with 0 0.1 millimeter with an extremely high rate of 1000 hertz. That means an extremely high resolution with the highest sensitivity and then the reconstruction algorithm is done. If you compare the photon counting detector with a standard CT, I have to show you this image. So with a standard CT, you have the X-ray going into a scintillator and then the scintillator is emitting light, which is then measured by photodiodes and transferred to a chip. And the image comes out with a good quality. But if you look at the modern photon counting semiconductor system of direct conversion, you have the direct conversion of the X-ray into electric counts so the chip is directly producing an image and therefore you have a single photon counting and energy measurement system with an extremely high geometric accuracy and an extremely high efficiency that means for an examination with a mammoth ct you come out with the same dosage as a plain mammography Thank you very much for your attention and have a good time.